hi guys and welcome to this week's vlog uh this week it's about our top 10 k-pop groups i like noted them down because preparation complete and i like noted them down in like not really a particular order because i'm like it will spend me like seriously a month because I will be like okay spend like three hours making a like ranking and then be like the next morning waking up and be no but this one has to go above that one so I don't do order or ranking so first group I like is BTS woo just because it's BTS like they kind of remind me of BAP in the warrior days which I really like so yeah, second got seven. Hey, it's, it's so catchy and they're so catchy their songs and it's just like so I can use with, which I like. Next one EXO because you can't leave out EXO once you like started it. So yeah, uh, next one BAP because I still like BAP but there's like like yeah. I'm not, they have awesome songs, but like Lady M, like, I want like to see something more like warrior concept again, or something in that kind of line. Next one is Teen Top, I don't know, I just like Teen Top. I don't know, it's like I get happy when I hear a Teen Top song, I don't know, it just makes me so happy. Next one, Fix, because... I don't really have good reasons why to like these groups. I just like, just like, I just like their music, so that's why. Can't really explain why, but I like Fix because they mostly have like a dark concept, which I like. Next one is Top Dog, cause Top Dog is awesome. Tia Double P. Tia Double P. Tia Double T. Top Dog. Next one is Infinite, cause I can't leave out Infinite. Otherwise, my sister will get mad at me. Uh, number nine, Sea Clown. Because I like the music. <laughs> Why else am I like reading this list of groups? And the last one, well, not the last one, I added one extra. But sh the next one is Double J Double C. Because I don't know if you guys listen to Fire. The Gachi Hu, Gacha Macha Fire. Oh, the Jumbo Fire. Na 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 na, uh oh, uh oh. Yeah. Jackie Jackie Chen Chen, you did well. And I just like decided to add Block B also, number 11. I don't know if, I don't know if that's allowed, but I will do it anyways. Because I have like way more groups. Like I, I had like. I like noted them some down here and here, and I was like, but there's way more, and I have to make a definite list because I also really wanted to. Include Lee Sung or SS501, Toxic, TVXQ, Yukis, FT Island, C and Blue. <sighs> oh, and I really wanted to add Winner or Icon, but it was like, no. And Big Bang. It's like, can't, really can't do more than 11. That's just ridiculous. So, yeah. That's actually really it for this week already. And I'm sorry it's so short, but I kind of accidentally came across two very cute and adorable Japanese actors. And I sort of had to like watch every Japanese drama therein. So, what were the names again? I don't know if I can pronounce it very well. It was Sato, Takaru and Miwa. あ、笑顔。笑顔。うん。ちょっとカメラ目線で。やめてください。ファンのためにいや、笑顔。笑顔。笑顔。笑顔。笑顔。笑顔。笑顔。笑顔。笑顔。笑顔。笑顔。笑
無言な状態でこう見つめられると無言な状態多分誰でもやられちゃうんじゃないかな<笑>ダラー So yeah, kind of hooked on Japanese drums now Because they're really freaking awesome Like 11 episodes or something per, per series And one episode takes like 45 minutes Or something So you don't Like with Korean dramas you have to mostly like It takes so freaking long before people find out about a problem or so freaking long until someone actually decides to communicate with people and with Japanese dramas they don't really do that it's like episode 4 of the 11 but we already let everyone know that I have disability or like whatever so it's very nice so I really recommend even if you don't like Japanese stuff I, I don't really like Japanese movies because they confuse me you know you have those maybe I just watch, watch the wrong movies but you have those movie, movies where they have like so many silent shots and I'm like shot of a hallway empty and then for like half a minute and then a shot of someone just sitting on the swing for half a minute and I'm like where's the blood? I don't get it but with these Japanese dramas I watched they were really nice and you guys should watch them too because they're pretty awesome you have to watch a Bloody Monday There are two seasons, it's about a boy in high school, I think, and he's a hacker, and yeah, he has to help like the, the Japanese FBI thingy stuff to catch like terrorists and stuff, and it's really cool, because he can hack, and he is just pretty cool, and he is cute, so yeah, and, and bitter blood. That one is also cool. It's about the guy and who he becomes a cop, and then he gets teamed up with his father, which uh, who ran away a long time ago and left them. And yeah, so so this one is also a nice watch. Oh, and right now I am watching uh, Boku no Ita Jikan. That's about a guy who gets diagnosed with ALS on the age of. 23 and it's very sad I stopped watching yesterday as it was very sad but I will continue soon but you have to watch that one too yeah so hmm that was it I really like my hair I put it in a ponytail <laughs> my little brother sneezing <laughs> his room is next to mine so yeah Annyeong! Haven't done this in a while.